The Miami Dolphins' defense is playing as good if not better than they were last year but is it something that can be sustained? The answer very well may be yes. What changed with the Dolphins? Through the seven-game losing streak, the Dolphins' defense played really good for a series or two and then would give up big plays and drives. They couldn't hold a lead and while they were never truly the entire problem, they were not close to being the solution either. For starters, the Dolphins changed the way they were playing football on that side of the ball. The defensive team meeting with Brian Flores ahead of the Ravens game made a huge difference. The Dolphins were once again attacking and dictating the outcome of plays. They were forcing teams to deal with them instead playing a reactionary game. So far, through four games, it has worked. The change isn't the reason why the Dolphins are playing so well on defense right now. It also isn't because of Emmanuel Ogba or the performances of Javon Holland and fellow rookie Jalen Phillips. Sure it helps but it isn't the only reason. In fact, you can sum up the change very easily. The Miami Dolphins' defense is having fun. Yes, it is that simple. From Christian Wilkins to Xavier Howard and everyone in between and behind the starters, there is a new attitude. They call it a brotherhood, a family atmosphere that challenges them on and off the field. Great defenses emerge when players get to the point where letting down their teammates is something they can't tolerate personally. This Dolphins' defense is getting to that point. Miami is holding themselves accountable for mistakes. They are correcting them. They are learning the way each other operates, those individual strengths that other players can play off of. Christian Wilkins, Zach Sealer, Raekwon Davis are all three interchangeable on the defensive line. They are all productive and work as a unit no matter who is taking the snaps with who. The linebackers are playing off the interior work, filling holes and stuffing gaps. On the edge, Phillips is finding his niche, and Ogba is working off of the youngsters' burst to help collapse the pocket. With a secondary filled with Byron Jones and Xavier Howard you would think that the duo would be the secondary leaders but Javon Holland has earned their trust and continues to get better. He is emerging as the Christian Wilkins of the secondary, a glue that binds them all together in a sense. The reality is you can't beat teams that are having fun. When they approach a game as a business, they play as employees. When they play like they just got up on a Saturday morning and hit the mud field with a bunch of other kids in the neighborhood, the atmosphere changes for the Dolphins, the atmosphere has changed. They are kids playing football and having a lot of fun doing it. Miami Dolphins to get Devontae Parker back at practice this week. The Miami Dolphins have at least one of their offensive weapons back just in time for the New York Giants. Devontae Parker is set to return. I can hear the loud applause and can see the fist pumps now. I can also hear the sarcasm that is saying, if he can get through practice without getting hurt again. I know, I get it. I'm tough on Parker and rightfully so. He has a world of talent, is well liked by his teammates, and no one has ever said anything bad about him personally, well except Michael Thomas we don't care about him. Sadly, the fact he can't consistently stay on the field is a problem. A big one. Some fans believe that a healthy Parker for eight games is still better than no Parker at all. I tend to disagree with that notion. If you can't stay on the field, you're not useful. An injury here or there is understandable but Parker has only played one full season. While Parker will be back, the same cannot be said for Will Fuller. Fuller will miss his ninth game in a row and Brian Flores said that he is not ready to return yet. It has been said that he suffered multiple fractures in his finger and that is the reason why his recovery is taking so long. We really can't sit here and say that Fuller is milking his time with the Dolphins but conspiracy theorists are floating everything from a failed PED test again that the team is trying to hide to him wanting nothing to do with Miami. Either way and no matter the reason, Fuller will still make $10 million to do nothing, at least nothing so far.